Good you guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're back at the social security spot and I can't remember the last time I've been here, but it's definitely been a while. Feels great, definitely no excuse to not skate today. So let's get a couple tricks and then eventually I do want to get to this one trick off the two block. All right, so the trick that I wanted to do down the two block is a nollie flip. In my last video, I did my first nollie flip down to five star in a while. It's been a minute since I did one of those. So I'm gonna just take it a step further and try it off something a little bit higher. First, I'm gonna do something flat, then off this little block behind me, and then I'm gonna just send it down the two block. So fingers crossed, let's see if everything goes well into plan. Day, really we gotta do this today if you're new to my channel and you think my nollie flips look fakey don't worry I know they do this wouldn't be my first time hearing that Let's see how many I can do down this little drop that we have here. It's like I can get a good one where I can pop, but the run up sucks. Alright, there we go. It's like if I can nollie off it, I could definitely nollie flip. It's just figuring out the foot stance because. You gotta rush everything. No. Thank you. I always have this problem when it comes to doing nollie flips down stuff to I just never can pop as early as I need to, to get that pop. I mean, that one popped pretty well. I think it's more of a mental battle. Honestly, popping early really isn't that hard if you know how to do the trick itself. It's just more about the timing and how you time it in your head. Timing and then the commitment part after, because if you pop early, a lot of times it might make you a little, uh, little shaky when you're doing the trick, like nervous, because it feels uncomfortable, like, especially if you aren't super used to it. But yeah, let's get one more good one with some pop and then take it down the two block. All right, let's see what I can do.
All these attempts and I still haven't heard a pop yet. I don't know how it worked, but it did. you know I gotta do it at least one more time switch up the angle get the legendary angle this time I'm gonna really try to pop it guys like I, I really am gonna try bro I swear that was it mid flip the wind pushed it like right in front of me and so I couldn't catch it the way I wanted to. This honestly might be my last try. These uh, these planes keep flying above the the area in the sky, so it's uh, and they're really loud when they pass by. Sound like rockets almost. Like I think they're like they're coming from the harbor, and then they're like looping around this way. I'm gonna try to persevere though. Fuck yes, bro. This is basically what you're popping off of. There's wax on the edge, so it makes it kind of slippery. And then down there is the brick, of course, which doesn't feel too bad, honestly. And then if you're uh, if you're falling and kind of like going fast, then you do get a chance to slide. But yeah, there are a couple cracks right before the where you pop. And then when you do pop, there is kind of some wax. Thankfully, I was doing nollie today. So instead of popping like right off the edge, I was kind of popping somewhere over here. And of course, like you guys saw, I didn't really pop too many of the nollie flips that I did get, except for the ones off the one block the one that I was doing before I skated the two block. But yeah, I'm still working on them, but I did get a couple ones that were popped um, down the two block. I just didn't land them. It's just, it's more about the mental battle, the mental block. Today was a nollie flip battle and, and it did turn out somewhat of a success. Um, I just gotta work on popping them for real, for real. Yeah, if you like this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, I'm out.